I think I've got everything I need for this Advent make. So Advent, Advent calendars. Everybody loves an Advent calendar and I usually do make mine for my kids. And I never make you one, do I? I think you don't mind, do you? No, she doesn't mind. I'm going to move her though. I'm just going to sit down there, please. You manage that? Now, last year I did an advent calendar that was uh, anagrams of movies all jumbled up. And, uh, and I made one for each of my sets of kids, so I made three. Now, this year I'm going to do one for each of them, but they're going to be a little bit different this year. Now, this then, I've just cut all of these out, okay? And these are the outlines of countries. This is up John Street, this one. John will really, really like this one. And I've written 1 to 24 on the back. And so I'm going to start with number 24, aren't I? You're not going to help me here at all. So what I've got then, I've got a load of chocolate coins because I'm going to put those in between each of the layers. And then I was trying to find some way of, apart from changing colour when I get, because I'm going to use this crepe paper here to wrap round each of them. They'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. But I wanted to put a, a, a number on so that John and Anna, when they get to that bit, they will know that this is actually yesterday's and this is today's and this is tomorrow's. So I've found this on, in, on the internet and uh, they're house numbers actually. So I'm just going to cut these up and I'm going to stick them on with some glue that I haven't got. I'll get some glue. Can you get me the glue, Norma? Get a bit of glue. And so I'm going to, oh, come on, excuse me. Come on, come on, thank you, you stay there. Now the crepe paper layers will be, they'll take them off each day. And I'm guessing they'll just put them in the log basket and have a nice colorful load of uh, paper to burn. So I'm gonna just cut these then and I my advent calendars have always got 24 numbers on. This one's got 25. I don't need number 25. I need number 24. Because I always reckon that, you know, Christmas Day is pretty nice. You don't need a an advent calendar for Christmas Day. Okay then. So let's oh, just do it one at a time. It's not a, not a problem. I'm gonna cut. Uh, just get them number 24. I'll just cut them as I need them, otherwise I'll get into a muddle. So that's number 24, because that's I'm going to start on the middle. And that's country number 24. Okay, right. Now, if you're watching this, John, look away now, because this is going to be on the inside, the very, very middle, when he gets to the middle, is going to be this blow-up globe. And so uh, just and it also will give it a bit of substance when the first layer goes on. So, John, if you're watching, don't stop looking right now. OK, then. So I'm just going to wrap paper, crepe paper around this until it gets to be a bit round because it's a oops, a daisy. It's a bit jagged. OK, I'm just going to do quite a lot of wrapping now. Now I'm. So last year's advent calendars, I'm going to leave a link up here somewhere to what I did last year. Because, oops, a daisy. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Don't mess those up. Put those over there. There we go. That's my countries. So last year I did anagrams of films and I did them uh, inside my little pouchy packety things that I make. So, right, now, this isn't number 24. Let's just make this a bit rounder. I'm just going to get into a proper good old mess here. We might as well use lots of paper, because otherwise, what's the point? I'll make this nice and round. Yep. 
that'll do. Okay then, so let's just take the lid off here and we'll stick that down with a bit of glue. I'm just going to put a little bit of Pritt stick on the end of there and stick that down so that stays down and then I can mould that a bit round. So that doesn't look like anything, does it? Looks like a really weird snowball. Okay, so we need to put um, a couple of coins in here and the 24th thing to guess there. It'll get easier as it gets bigger. And then wrap this round with a different colour paper. Yeah, as this gets bigger, it'll get much, much, much easier to work. I think it might get quite big with 24 layers. So that's his 24th country to guess there. And a bit of chocolate for them both. These are fair trade chocolate coins that I got from a company called Divine. Um, oops which um, were in the Christmas boxes. So if you've got a Christmas box, you might recognise the coins that I'm using. And I'll put two in every layer because although Anna might not want to guess the countries, I'm guessing she might like to eat a bit of chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off about there, I suppose. And then, when I stick this one down with a bit of glue, I'm going to stick the number 24 so that they know that they're on the last layer. I've never, I've, I'm making this one up as I go along. So I hope it works, but that's 24 there like so. And then I'm guessing that the next country should go right here and this is number 23 and a different colour paper that's it this is going to work and he knows that when he gets to the number 24 he's got to stop taking the paper off yeah yeah as i say i'm just making this one up i don't know how it's going to work but we'll give it a try Well, that was one of the coins fell out. I'll just slide another one in there. I'll get quicker at this. I'm thinking. I've got lots and lots of crepe paper, so I can make one for everyone. Now, this um, country's outline thing, which I thought of for John, uh, I had no idea how to get outlines of countries. And I've got a very good friend who just lives up the road who's very, very good at geography, works as a uh, in the national parks, uh, doing very clever things with geography. So I'm, I'm going to make him one and his partner. Uh, I'm going to make them one with uh, film, anagrams of films, which is what I did last year for the for the kids. So how does that one seem? So I'll cut that off, stick that down, and then we need number 23 from my numbers here. And we need to stick that on there. Like that, number 23. And couple more coins and number 23 number 22 country okay so let's see what color haven't we had we'll put red on next day eh? so i'm going to be doing this for 22 more layers so i might speed it up
So it's the next day now, and don't you just know, while I was busy making that, who should turn up unannounced but John and Anna. So I had to quickly scoop it all away, put it all away and hide it. Uh, not very successfully. I think Anna knows what I'm doing. However, uh, I carried on after they'd gone and to save you, to spare you all the, just rest assured that I wound every single layer on. And now I'm up to the last layer and I'm just going to cover all that yellow with this lovely purple and then stick the number one on so that they will know that it's due to start on the 1st of December. So it's gone very well. I'll just get, excuse me, I'll just reach for my scissors. <laughs> it's gone really well. Uh, it's taken a long time and a lot of paper, but that's okay because that's the fun. And it, what it's reminded me of is it's actually quite useful to have a medical background if you're going to be bandaging something. Although I have to say in all the years I worked in the NHS, I never bandaged anybody. Now, the last one then. So the last one's going to go on like that. And then the last number, like so, will stick over that one so that they'll know then that they have to keep winding until they get to number two. And when they get to number two, the first clue will be there. And so I think that for making it up as I've gone along, I think that's worked quite well. So that one is for John and Anna. But now I've, I've got more to make. And I've got all the paper is all here. And this next one is going to be uh, for my friend who, who gave me the link to the country outlines, Ed. And this one is all jumbled up film titles. Excuse me, Norma. So I've cut all those. I printed them all out on different coloured card and then I cut the... Um, countries out but then of course I don't know what the countries are so it's very important if you're going to do this is to make a master list and I'll have this so that when John texts me and says I don't know what number 11 is I'll be able to tell him it's because I have it here on the list now I've done the same here because I'm going to make some more now and these ones are jumbled up film titles so we've got um prefabricated nose habit and we've got um, uh, her roommate has bitten guys so you can have a go at these if you like you can find them easily enough online but the most important thing is that I've got all the answers here so that when my friends can't untangle the anagram if they can't I think they'll get it really easily they're great at words and they'll be uh, and films so I think they'll get them really easily but I've got the master copies here, so I'll keep them. I'll stick the master copies up somewhere so that if someone sends me a text or a message, I'll be able to say uh, how many how many clues uh, do you want me to give you, and I'll give them little clues as to what the what the answers might be. Okay, so I know that it's possibly the beginning of December, but it really isn't too late to make one of these with a few layers missing, or store it up as an idea for next year. Uh, it's really, really easy to make and the loads of fun and uh, little bits of chocolate, L whatever your quiz is going to be. Uh, last year I did my brother one and it was all Beatles trivia because he's a big Beatles nut and he had um, all these Beatles trivia questions. I'll see if I can get a little bit of film of them opening this. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Hope you make one and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks now. Bye bye. So I'm here at my friend John and Jane's house and you might remember them from the wedding video that we did at Midsummer a year or so ago. Well, 18 months ago, girls, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and here they are, the recipients. But first of all, don't they live in a very beautiful place? Look at that amazing view. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got your... Our Advent ball. ball. And today's the 1st of December. Uh, yeah. Okay, go for it, girls. Right. Let's take the stick off. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. You're <laughs> going to enjoy this as well. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! 
Yay. Well, that's gonna. Yay. Oh, look, I put extra coins in at the beginning. Let's see. Look, Betsy, yeah, Betsy. that's for you. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, so. is this the anagram? Yeah. What does it say? Fabricate. Prefabricate. Pre oh, prefabricate. No, no it's habit. Seven, two, three, nine. Okay. That's hard. That's yeah, really they hard. are hard. They are hard. And so does it say now it says one on there. It should, yeah. Should say That's two confusing. really. This is confusing. Oh, well, we're gonna have to work this out on film. Get off. No, no. you're not. So are you eating the chocolate? Is it nice? Oh, Love it. Where's mine? Yeah. I put extra in Thank you. There's only two every day after that. Hey, well good luck with that, girls. Mm. What's it say again? Prefabricate knows habit. habit. So there's no kind of clue. Do we got the letters seven two three nine? I said oh, it's a film, isn't it? Yeah, that's it's a, all, film. It's a film. Okay. Well, the two and the three on the. <laughs> that's how you're gonna have to do it. Has it got an O? Yes. Yeah. It's got an on N. On T H E. It's got an F of. Of, of, of the. Something of the something. <laughs> Are these going to be films that you like, Kate? No, I, no, not necessarily. Are they Christmas films? No, not necessarily in either case. They're... Can we have a clue as to the No, because I can't even remember which oh, one it is. Because no. I made these a few days ago. Mm, no. <laughs> I'm going to leave you to puzzle it, girls. Okay. But for all my YouTube friends, I'm actually going to uh, put the words on the screen now for you. Oh, I might have to start a Patreon. <laughs> oh no, this is the YouTube channel. Oh, hey, I'm going but on. But you can watch <laughs> this one. I'll cheat and then pretend and tell Jane. No, no, no. 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 Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the odd Okay. Thanks, girls. Bye. Bye. Bye.